Hello everybody, Tyler Edders here again, and we are talking about generator structures tonight. So on the last video we talked about um, hives, gates, and shrines. Uh, hives are generators, they make signals. Generators make signals in different ways. So there's three other types of generators in the first version of Arcologies. Raves, domes, and mazes. So we're going to do a quick little recap of hives to start. Um, hives are the fundamental building block of arcologies. Um, they have one job, and that job is to make. Uh, I've seen a bunch of dev stuff. Yeah, reload. Um, make signals at regular intervals. So here's a hive. Um, it just makes signals for us. Consistent, regular, predictable, standard, normal signals. Raves do the opposite. So Raves have a glyph. They look like this. Raves are kind of like hives. But raves are random. So you can try to control the ports you have open on a rave, but it has other ideas. You can see these ports are toggling on and off at regular intervals. Those intervals are just about all you can control, um, and that's controlled with the metabolism. So if we bring this down, this is this is this rave is off the chain. There are every single beat we're re-rolling all the ports and we're sending signals out through them. Um, you can change the offset too. So with a metabolism of one, that doesn't matter, but um, by moving the offset back and forth, that'll give you a little bit more control about where it goes. So that's what raves do. Next up, the dome. So domes have um, metabolism and offset, just like the last two structures do, but they also have pulses. So what the heck is that? Uh, I'm going to turn my metabolism up. And if we start increasing the pulses, you can see the steps beginning to fill in. This is a Euclidean rhythm generator. So the metabolism is your denominator, it's the larger number, and then pulses are the numerator, the smaller number. And the way the algorithm works, it's built into Norns, it ships with it. Um, there's been plenty of papers written about the Euclidean rhythms, but the way it works is it takes however many beats you've got, and then it takes however many notes you got, and it tries to equally distribute those through that range. So if we turn our pulses all the way up to 16, um, it's going to be every 16th note. Now, if we turn the metabolism down, you'll see that the pulses are clamped to the metabolism. So you can never have more pulses than you can have uh, metabolism. So if we bring that back up to eight with four pulses, we have every other every other beat. We're getting we're getting a signal out. Uh, we can turn that down. Three, two. So this is a really fun, fast way to make all of our favorite rhythms. Uh, offset is really fun with this because you can see how it wraps. So you can see, you can just nudge it either way. And 
That's a dome. So last we have the maze. So maze has metabolism and offset, but then it also has probability. So I'm gonna go ahead and crank this up. Probability is because this is an analog shift register, AKA a Turing machine. So the way it operates is um, when your probability is at zero, your your register is locked. Whatever pattern it's generated up here stays there and it's not gonna change. The higher the probability, the more chance it is that this is going to change on every beat. If it's 100%, we're gonna be changing every single time or there's a possibility of changing. It's binary, it's either gonna be a beat or no beat. So this way we're generating a rhythm that's going to just be pretty chaotic and then when you find something you like, you can turn it all the way down to zero and lock that in. And then again, offset works the same way. So you can shift either way with that. Um, similar to domes, if you bring the metabolism down, actually, try to illustrate this best. I'll just bring the metabolism down to four. So now our, our register is only four steps long. You can see that there's only four little tiny dots up here that are indicating where the steps are. So metabolism is sort of like length. It's called metabolism because it functions differently with different cells. It's not actually length. It's not actually um, time signature. It's not actually bar, it's not actually division, it's not meter, it's not any of those things because it's different things in all different cells, but it overall controls pretty much the same thing, which has to do with the rate of signal generation. Um, something interesting is if you change between structures, the attributes are going to stick. So we just switched back to a hive, and now if I go back to a maze, um, it remembered that we had our probability set to 100. If we change this to a dome, um, let's give it uh, metabolism of 7 with 5 pulses. We can jump over to a maze again. Because metabolism is a shared attribute between the structures, that's not, that's, that's going to just remain. Um, the same is true for all the attributes, even if you can't see them on the menu. So all the cells, all the structures secretly have all those attributes stored inside them. So as you change between them, you can jump back to an old one you had and your settings are still going to be there. So if we jump back to our dome, we can see that our pulses are still set to five. It remembers, the cells remember how they were configured. And this goes for all the different types. So even if we go to like a topiary, which we haven't talked about yet, this has all these notes in it. Um, we can change this back to a hive, and now it's gonna behave differently. And if we change it back to a topiary, it's gonna remember all those notes. So that gives you a lot of really interesting performance um, possibilities. Uh, I guess while we're talking about generators, the other thing is um, copying. So if you long press, and then press anywhere else, you're gonna start making copies of that cell. And it's gonna say it's gonna have all of those attributes. So it remembers metabolism, it remembers what ports are open. Um, it's gonna remember all those other hidden attributes as well. So you can configure something you really like, you can get your Euclidean rhythm just right, or your, you know, um, your metabolism just right, your offset just right, and then you can make a whole bunch of copies of those. It's worth noting that, uh, let's get rid of these. When you paste, it doesn't care when you paste it. It's always gonna be locked to the same 
global transport. So if we have a hive here and um, okay, so this is a standard hive uh, every four beats sending out signals. Um, if I intentionally paste this at some weird wonky off time, you'll see that they're all still propagating at the same at the same beat. They all they all hit at the same time. So it doesn't move with it, which is really nice because that lets you not worry about timing. Um, this really isn't a like it's time to shred like play really fast type of performance instrument. It's very much a thinking person's kind of puzzle almost. It's, it's like an interactive puzzle, sound puzzle. Uh, there's no like dexterity or timing required to play arcologies. To that effect, you can hit play, pause, and it freezes everything. So it was a design decision to make play and pause. That's the only thing this button does. And that's because, you know, sometimes you want to just Wait, 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 just like stop, see what's going on, get the lay of the land, come over here to your um, analysis menu, understand what's going on, what your distribution of structures are. And then once you know what's going on, you might want to make some adjustments. You can do that here too. So, so oh, you know, I, I, don't, I don't really need this hive anymore or I don't need this hive anymore. Um, okay, great, that's great. Now let's play. Okay, okay, so that that's sort of one of the play or usage patterns that you get to do with this is whenever you pause it locks all the signals in place and then you can see where they are which is really cool for reverse engineering when interesting or wild things are happening um what else did i want to share i think that about does it for generators um i think i'm going to do two more videos one for um the processors and then one for the sound structures. So thanks for watching. Bye.